Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the course of this video lesson, I'll be solving different practice questions that cut across different topics in the JUPEB chemistry exam. So let's get into this particular practice question. And also, if you're a JAMP aspirant or a post UTME aspirant, this particular video lesson is also important for you. Now let's move further. The question says, the mass spectrum of an unknown element is displayed below so this is the mass spectrum of that element that is unknown now the question says the atomic mass this is very important the atomic mass of the unknown element is that means they are asking us to determine the at atomic mass of that element that is unknown given the mass spectrum so how do we solve it it is extremely very easy me seeing this question right now my mind will go back to a very introductory chemistry topic which is regarded to be called isotopy and relative atomic mass calculations so my mind will go back to this topic called isotopy and relative arrow atomic mass calculations because that's what this question is all about and it's extremely very very easy so before we even you know interpret the question i have to quickly write out the formula for relative atomic mass just watch for relative atomic mass the formula is simply percentage one times m1 which is mass number one divided by 100 this is very very easy i have video lessons that explains on isotopy and relative atomic mass so make sure you do well to go check the video out okay the link will be in the description section that's percentage one times mass number one over 100 plus percentage two times mass number two over 100 so this formula is very very important are you following me now so let's move further now what's the question all about they gave us the mass spectrum of the unknown element now this must be noted it must be noted here that there is an instrument that is used to measure the mass spectrum of a particular element that instrument is regarded to be called the spectrometer the instrument used to measure the mass spectrum of a particular element is regarded to be called what spectrometer and this spectrometer specifically you know determine the mass take note mass to charge ratio of a particular element that's what this instrument does it helps to determine what the mass to charge ratio of a particular element and this concept was all brought about by a scientist called J. J. Thompson. Please note this, it's very, very important. So, if you are asked who discovered the mass to charge ratio using the concept of the you know the spectrometer, the person is called J. J. Thompson. Remember, J. J. Thompson was a scientist that discovered electron which is a subatomic particle but i'm not talking about this what i'm interested in is that this spectrometer helps to determine the mass spectrum of a particular element and also it brings and also it explains the concept of the mass to charge ratio brought by this scientist called jj thompson but please take note of this i'm about saying it must be noted here that the discovery of the mass to charge ratio of a particular element using the concept of the oil drop experiment you simply say that the scientist is called arrow a millican please take note of this so if you are asked who oh, discovered the mass to charge ratio using the oil drop experiment what would you say ra millican which is called robert andrew millican but the concept of mass spectrum you know was brought about what? by jj thompson take note of this so moving further how do we go about to solve this particular question so moving further let's solve this question together let's check the axis of this particular illustration you can see this axis is the y axis whereby here is what the x axis in y axis we have what we call the percentage abundance which is symbolized as you know the symbol percent i believe you are following that's the percentage abundance in the y axis 
in the x axis we have one called the mass per charge ratio which we can also call the mass number please watch we just call this m now it's actually very easy let us progress and bring out the parameters in this particular illustration so we solve the question together so here is the first part of the graph it relates you know the mass to charge ratio which we can also relate to we call the mass number you can see here is 70 that means the m1 i mean i want to write it here just follow the m1 the mass number of the first isotope will become 70 because i just explained that here should be the mass number okay please take note of it here should be the mass number so here is the first mass number we saw so here is 70. moving further you can see that this first part of the, the illustration it's in line with the 70 mark for the percentage abundance so the first percentage abundance because all of these values are percentage abundances is going to be 70. are you following me so we are done with m1 and percentage one if you observe the way the formula is do you get so moving further let's walk towards the second which is m2 mass of the second isotope okay and it is what 75 relating it you can see it's at the 10 mark it's actually at the 10 mark note this please very important you have to make sure that you follow it well so percentage 2 is going to be equal to 10 whereby wow that means that we have three isotopes here that means we should not end with this formula is we're going to add plus percentage 3 times mass number 3 divided by 100 if it was 4 like that percentage 4 times mass number 4 over 100 like that like that is actually very easy so moving further it's going to be m3 is going to it's going to be 78 relating it to 20 yeah it's related to 20 it's going to be percentage 3 it's going to 20 so we did let's impute all of this into our formula so relative atomic mass is going to be equal to percentage 1 which is 70 Times mass number one, which is 70 as well, divided by 100, plus percentage two, which is 70, uh, uh, which is 10, rather, percent two is 10, times mass number two, which is 75, I believe you are following me, divided by 100, plus the last, which is percentage three, 20%, okay, times mass number three, which is 78, divided by 100. So what are we having as our relative atomic mass? So we hit everything in our calculator. It's going to be equal to 70 times 70 divided by 100 plus 10 times 75 divided by 100 plus 20 times 78 divided by 100. That is had 72.1. You know, remember, relative atomic mass does not have units, so you are not to write any unit. So I'm having 72.1. So I believe you can see that the answer to the question becomes option D. Because that's the closest answer, 72, 72.1. I believe you understand how questions under this aspect are being solved. It's actually very easy, okay? Now make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share these lessons with your friends because more video lessons like this will be out soon. Make sure you follow this channel and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.